They are among the most important ecosystems in Kenya. They sustain our water resources and agricultural productivity, and thousands of people depend on them for their livelihoods. Occupying approximately 3 to 4 percent of the country's land area, these ecosystems provide vital ecological services to many communities across the country that are essential to the very survival, health, and welfare of human beings and biodiversity. Despite their crucial role in sustaining livelihoods, wetlands in Kenya face severe pressure and rapid degradation. As a result, the country has experienced detrimental and even catastrophic outcomes, including mass displacement of people, loss of property, and destruction of infrastructure due to devastating flash floods. Opportunities lost through wetland degradation are countless. My guest today is Emily Mateche, the Policy and Advocacy Manager at Nature Kenya. Hello, Emily. Hi, Richard. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, welcome to the show, and it's really Thank great to have you. Thank you. World Wetlands Day was marked on February 2nd. What was the day all about? Uh, the day was uh, important uh, for raising awareness on the importance of wetlands, their values, and why we need to conserve wetlands. That's why we were celebrating the day. Uh, speaking about wetlands, yes. uh, probably uh, many of us have heard about them or perhaps read somewhere about them. For the benefit of our viewers, could you tell us what they are? Uh, wetlands are generally areas uh, of marsh. Uh, they have water that um, either floods the area permanently or uh, seasonally along uh, rivers or marine areas or uh, lake ecosystems. Uh -huh. Yes. Nice. Uh, thank you very much, Emily, for that description. At least now we have a better understanding of uh, wetlands. And you mentioned some of the wetlands that are found in Kenya and uh, where they occur. We have quite a number of uh, wetlands along the coastal area. We have Tana Delta, we have Sabaki Estuary. Uh, uh, within the Lake Victoria ecosystem, we have Dunga Swamp, we have Yala Swamp. Uh, within the central region, we have Lake Old Bolosat. Within the Rift Valley region, we have quite a number of wetlands along uh, Lakes Naivasha, Lake Nakuru, Baringo, and Bogoria. Interesting. Indeed, Kenya is placed with many wetlands across different landscapes. Yes. There has been this notion that uh, wetlands are wastelands. What is your take on this? Uh, it's very unfortunate that uh, most of these uh, wetlands are uh, perceived as uh, areas that are uh, idle. They don't have... Um, uh, uh, they, 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 are, they are not being utilized. So any opportunity that uh, we as human beings uh, get, we are uh, increasingly encroaching into wetlands and converting them into farmlands or uh, uh, commercial developments at a very alarming rate. But uh, wetlands are not uh, wetlands or idle land. They have a role that they play within the ecosystem and that's why they exist. Uh, so, Emily, what is the connection between wetlands and humans? Uh, there is a very uh, close relationship between wetlands and uh, humans uh, because uh, they provide many of the goods that, uh, and services that uh, we as human beings enjoy. They provide water, they provide food, they provide uh, medicinal uh, plants. Uh, they offer um, uh, places of uh, cultural importance. You'll find that uh, some uh, traditional uh, shrines or places of uh, uh, spiritual value or worship exist within these uh, wetlands. So wetlands are uh, closely connected to the existence of human beings. Indeed, wetlands are so precious to us. I can't imagine what Earth would have been without this important habitat. Sure. So, Emily, what percentage of land mass uh, in Kenya is covered by wetlands? Uh, wetlands occupy between 3 to 4% of the land uh, area in Kenya. 
it uh, looks uh, quite small compared to the huge role that wetlands uh, play uh, in the subsistence of uh, communities. And we are talking about hundreds of thousands of communities that depend on this uh, ecosystem. And uh, the small percentage of uh, wetlands uh, we do have are increasingly being lost. They are shrinking in size despite them uh, already occupying a very small area uh, within the uh, Kenya land area. Uh, so are you suggesting that Kenya is losing its wetlands? Yes, Kenya is losing its wetlands at a very alarming rate. Why? Uh, one of the biggest threats is encroachment uh, from uh, human uh, population mm -hmm. and uh, conversion of these wetlands into agricultural lands and other forms of development. So, Emily, Yala Swamp has lately been in the news, obviously not for good reasons. What is the issue with Yala Swamp? Yala Swam is uh, facing a very high threat of uh, allocation of uh, land within the swamp by the county government of Siaya to Lake Agro Limited for commercial sugarcane production. That's the biggest threat. We are talking about over 6,000 uh, hectares of land. That's uh, about 50 percent, more than 50 percent of, uh, the, the, of the wetland being converted into commercial sugarcane production vis-a-vis uh, -vis the ecosystem functions that uh, the swamp plays. So as Nature Kenya, what is your involvement in Yala? Uh, Nature Kenya has been, uh, uh, has been uh, running a program uh, in Yala, a conservation uh, program in uh, Yala one of, uh, for over uh, 13 years. One of the biggest achievements uh, of uh, the conservation interventions we have uh, initiated was, the, was supporting the formulation of a uh, land use plan for Yala Swamp to balance the various interests so that uh, we have space for each use. We have uh, space uh, for, we have space for uh, livelihood subsistence, that's production of uh, food crops. We have uh, space. Um, for development and uh, sustainable kind of development, Sust uh, co development that is compatible with the functions of the swamp. And most critical, we have space for conservation because uh, without uh, conserving uh, the wetland, we lose all the benefits that we do get from uh, Yala Swamp. So the plan is about balancing all the interests so that uh, livelihoods uh, thrive, we have uh, uh, biodiversity thriving, and we have sustainable kind of development, so that we have a win-win for all the users within the swamp. Uh, so are these efforts by Nature Kenya and other conservation players uh, bearing any fruit? Yes, we have uh, made uh, significant uh, milestone achievements. Mm -hmm. Uh, together with other stakeholders, we have established uh, an indigenous uh, community conservation area uh, covering over 8,404 hectares that uh, communities can uh, be engaged in uh, conservation and they can uh, conserve the core part of the swamp that is critical for continuous flow of ecosystem services. We have empowered communities so that they take ownership, they uh, claim their space, they claim their rights for food provisioning and other materials from the uh, swamp or the wetland. Yeah. And they also engage the county government to make sound decisions mm -hmm. about the conservation of uh, the swamp. Apart from Yala Swamp, are there other wetlands in Kenya that are facing similar predicaments? Yes, we do have. Uh, we have uh, Dunga Swamp facing uh, similar threats like uh, Yala. There is uh, the threat of uh, encroachment from the ever-increasing human population and even development that uh, now that uh, Dunga Swamp falls within close proximity to Kisumu town that is rapidly developing, we have uh, Tana that uh, is also facing a similar threat of uh, encroachment. 
Uh, we have uh, Sabaki that is uh, facing uh, threats from uh, uh, private uh, uh, developers that are interested in land for other developments within the area. We have uh, uh, wetlands within Dakacha woodland that are facing threats and unfortunately they are only the, uh, the only places where the Clark's weaver thrives. Uh, it's an endemic species that is only found within that ecosystem. So we have uh, similar threats for all of these wetlands within uh, Kenya. Uh, thank you, Emily, for that engaging insight. Welcome. I am sure our viewers have learned something about wetlands and the need to conserve them. As we conclude, Emily, uh, what can you tell Kenyans about conserving wetlands? Uh, the conservation of uh, wetlands is very critical. The same way we say that forests are the lungs of the environment, wetlands are the kidneys of the environment. They play quite a significant role. The same way a human being cannot function without a kidney, a kidney is the same way the environment cannot function without uh, wetlands. In the wake of the, uh, of the talks on uh, climate change and the adverse effects, wetlands are playing a significant role as carbon sinks. So we cannot afford to lose the uh, wetlands. Their conservation is critical. Subsistence of human uh, beings depends on it. Uh, ecosystem functions depend on uh, wetlands. Our very existence as human beings is dependent on the existence of wetlands. Healthy wetlands, not compromised wetlands. And so for those who are interested in taking part on this, how can they go about it? There is a lot uh, that uh, people can do. Yeah. Uh, you can uh, uh, sensitize uh, communities on the importance of uh, wetlands. You can play a role in restoration of uh, wetlands, whether it is uh, planting uh, mangroves uh, uh, along the wetlands that are found within the coastal areas, uh, planting papyrus uh, in papyrus wetlands like Dunga and uh, Yala, uh, playing a role in supporting natural regeneration of uh, uh, the vegetative covers within these uh, wetlands, uh, playing a role uh, in supporting the adoption of uh, uh, land use plan to guide decision making uh, when it comes to the use of land within these uh, wetlands. There is a lot that each one of us can uh, do to take part in the protection of wetlands. It has been a pleasure, Emily. Thank you. We have come to the end of this episode. If you have enjoyed the show, give us a like. We welcome feedback from you, our viewers. Feel free to leave a comment for us below. Subscribe to our channel for more engaging content. Remember to hit the notification bell to get alerts whenever we upload any new episode. Stay safe and see you in the next episode of Nature Matters.